Dak Prescott don't deserve to get paid more than Trevor Lawrence. I don't give a damn what anybody says. Trevor Lawrence has been in this league for three years. Dak Prescott has been in the league for eight. Dak Prescott got two playoff victories in eight years and continuously falters come postseason time. Oh, he's phenomenal from September through December, without question. But as the playoffs loom, that brother folds like a cheap tent. Now, that's not to say he will in the future. I'm saying what he's already done. Y'all could point to the 48 to 32 victory that the Green Bay Packers exercised against the Dallas Cowboys in last year's playoffs. I'm here to tell you, I don't want to hear that. Make it 48 16. They were getting annihilated. It was- Stephen A. Smith don't deserve $25 million. And I don't give a damn what anybody else says. Stephen A. Smith does not deserve more money than Pat McAfee. Stephen A. Smith wants $25 million a year. And if the brother takes that money, that means that others won't be able to come back to ESPN. They won't be able to field a full team. Now, ESPN has offered the brother $17 million, the same as they're paying Pat McAfee, who's doing college game day and everything else, who took a pay cut, took a pay cut to come to ESPN because he was doing the team-friendly thing to try and create excellence. What has the brother done, Stephen A. Smith, to deserve more money than Trevor Lawrence? You know, they always say that you shouldn't be watching another man's money. You know what I'm saying? Stephen A. isn't looking out to be the team-friendly guy understanding that they're cutting people left and right left and right and because he is on espn because he's on espn his podcasts are out there where he gets people to listen the basketball games the name the marquee because if it weren't for espn the brother wouldn't be where he is. And he should take a home team discount for making him as big as he is. Because look what happened to Skip, 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 Bayless on Fox Sports. Because you could literally say, you could literally say that his teammate Shannon Sharp with the Shea Shea podcast has helped to elevate first take to another level. Yet this brother is going to make sure that he takes every single dime. The old saying out there is those who live in glass houses should not be the first one to cast the first stone. I'm Mark Holmes, and taking care of letting you know the bullshit that is out there on the regular shows. Peace.